Hi everyone, it's Alex from Risk Academy. Uh, as you probably remember, um, we recently did a webinar with um, Tim Leach, Norman Marks, and uh, the webinar was hosted by OCEEG, which I'm very grateful to all the participants for uh, joining me in doing this discussion. And the topic of the webinar was ISO versus COSO, which one is better, what are some of the key takeaways and lessons, uh, lessons learned. Now, we've had a very small time frame, only an hour to discuss that, um, so I'm doing a more extended version of uh, my personal thoughts on what are the differences, what are the good and bit, bad bits in each, and what are the key takeaways for risk practitioners going forward. So that's, um, that's a webinar that will be run I in the coming weeks or so. Uh, however, some of you have posted a lot of questions uh, after the webinar that uh, we will respond in writing, but I wanted to take this opportunity because I thought one question was particularly uh, particularly good. How to create a balance between the qualitative aspects of risk management framework and the quantitative reality of day-to-day -day decisions? Now, I thought that was an amazing question because it really uncovers the disconnect between the risk management theory and the business reality that is happening every single, uh, single day. And the simple answer to that question is, you don't have to. In fact, if there is a disconnect between your risk management and day-to-day -day decision making in the business, that means your risk management is bad. Stop doing it and do something better. It's really as simple as that. Um, because this is, just think about how, just think about and remember how business makes decisions. Based on what does business make important decisions? Budgets are usually calculated, there are usually scenarios run around the budget to figure out which uh, what can afford and cannot afford a business. Investment decisions are usually done around calculating what the NPV or IRR are. Um, you know, maintenance programs are usually done in accordance with some regulatory requirements as well as some sort of assessment. Most significant you know, procurement decisions are done based on the price and all the other criteria, so there's usually like a scoring. Most day-to-day -day business decisions, most important business decisions, actually done using numbers, using a format, a methodology that calculates something. Because people are not very good at making qualitative judgment-based decisions. So we're trying to quantify wherever it is possible when we're making decisions in business. And that is exactly what risk management should be doing. To integrate into any type of decision the risk manager must come up with the methodology that will quantify the risk, the uncertainty associated with that decision in exactly the same terms. So if, it's, if we're talking about an investment project, it has to be a new way to calculate NPV in IRA. If we're talking about a project, it has to be a new way to calculate a schedule, time frame, budget. If we're talking about budgeting, a new way to calculate cash flow and, uh, and budget. If we're talking about strategy, the new way to calculate cash flow again, liquidity, and some other uh, significant you know, covenants if, if, there is, if there are any, any borrowings. Um, that's the essence of risk management. That's what it's supposed to be. It's uh, trying to shorten that gap between qualitative uh, word text uh, based discussions that risk management risk managers used to have in the past and how decisions are actually made every every single day in the business so for me if i wanted to summarize this uh, this short video successful risk management is only successful when the tools and the techniques and the methodologies used by the risk managers are actually aligned 100% with the tools and the methodologies and the numbers, the quantitative numbers used by the business to actually make uh, decisions. So to bridge that gap, stop doing qualitative risk analysis and start doing proper quantitative risk analysis. Sensitivity, scenario, decision tree, Monte Carlo simulations. And there are probably better, but these are the four most basic fundamental tools that every single risk manager should be using on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts. Do write underneath this video and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the Risk Academy channel on YouTube. Over a thousand subscribers already. Thank you and speak to you later.